Syrian Kizu will go around offset north side. Syrian Kizu will go around. Syrian Kizu will offset to the right. I can't, I got it. What's up guys and welcome to ATC Point of View. If you are new to the channel, my name is Lex and thanks for joining me. This is a very tragic accident and happened on November 5th, 2022 at Montgomery Gibbs Executive Airport in San Diego, California. The student pilot was doing some solo pattern work, specifically doing full stop taxi backs. But while they were making their approach, he noticed that something was wrong with his trim and had to make an emergency landing. So let's check it out. Tower Series 7, Sergio Yekinulu at 28 right in sequence for first stop taxi back. 700 in Kizulu, Montgomery Tower, standby landing traffic. Sergio Yekinulu, make right traffic when we hit right click for takeoff. Okay, right click for takeoff, Sergio Yekinulu. Montgomery Jet Tower 2540, Papa, holding short of 28 right, ready for takeoff for pattern work with full stop. Check in 905, cross turn 12, contact ground. Cherokee 904, I say again, cross turn to left contact ground. Straight left my contact ground, Cherokee 4904. 904, without delay, traffic is short final for 28 left. Without delay, 904. Now we're going to turn, I'm going to turn, say again. 254, Sierra Papa, short of 28 right, ready for takeoff pattern work with full stop. 254, Sierra Papa, Montgomery Tower, you're following a series on the upwind, make right traffic, runway right to your right, quick takeoff. Right traffic to your right, quick takeoff, 254, Sierra Papa. Tower, call base. 480, Sierra Papa, holding short 28 right, pattern work. Touching both, Sierra Papa. Going over to your right, you were stepping on me, say your full call sign. 480, Sierra Papa. 480, Sierra Papa, Montgomery Tower, stand by. Tower, Sierra, 700, Kizulu, I'm just here, you're left. Sierra, Kizulu, continue downwind, tower, will call base. Continue downwind, tower, will call base, Sierra, Kizulu. Thank you, Zulu Base approved. Zero, you can do this. Four zero, Papa Tower, call base. Call base, four zero, Papa. Montgomery Tower, Skyhawk five three nine six echo, holding short to it right at Alpha four right down with departure. Five three nine six echo, Montgomery Tower, standby number two for departure. Four eight zero zero, Papa, make right close traffic runway two right, clear for takeoff. Two eight right, clear for takeoff, right traffic zero zero. Zero trout, correction, Cessna 4, Sierra Papa, you're looking for a Cirrus, the right base over the Gulf Force 1000, turn to report Cirrus in sight. Traffic for Sierra Papa. 539 Seco, runway 2 right, line up in wait, traffic 1.5 mile final Cirrus. Runway 2 right, line up in wait, 539 Seco. Thank you, Zulu, traffic off your left is for the south runway. 4, Sierra Papa, base approved, you're flying a Cirrus to beam your right. Right, base approved, 4, Sierra Papa. My, uh, my trim is, uh, trim is activated by itself. And it's like a right down on the food, runway two right, quick takeoff, so it's not open, making a right turn for the pattern. I have an emergency up with my trim, and I'll find three, nine, or six, I go right down with departure. Just having a trim problem, you have a stuck mic on 125.7. So it's nine, or six, I go runway two right, quick takeoff. Sorry, in case you will go around, offset north side. Sorry, in case you will go around. Siri and Kizulu offset to the right. I can't, I got this. 2403, what's the other? This is 906 Echo, before I turn out. 906 Echo, use caution, aircraft on field, aircraft on Aircraft Montgomery Field is closed. Montgomery Field is closed. Montgomery Field is closed. Just the force to probably make a right turn out, divert to Gillespie. Divert to Gillespie, Zero Papa. Zero Papa, diverting to Gillespie as well. Montgomery Tower, Cessna 24671, about 9.7 miles northeast, inbound for landing with information echo. Montgomery Tower, the tower is, uh, Montgomery Field is closed at this time due to an aircraft accident on the field. 671. Montgomery Tower, 40 Papa, can we contact Gillespie Tower? Papa, affirmative contact, Lusty Tower. Go ahead,
This is Montgomery Gibbs Executive Airport, and they're in a west flow. So they're using runways 28 left and 28 right. November 700 Yankee Zulu has been in the pattern for a while now doing full stop taxi backs. They're cleared for takeoff on runway 28 right and are instructed to make right traffic. And shortly after, we also see November 254 Sierra Papa depart, and they're instructed to follow the Cirrus in the upwind because they're also staying in the pattern. So far, everything seems fine. The tire controller tells them both to extend downwind and that she would call their base turn because she's looking to create separation for her departures. Cirrus Zero Yankee Zulu is told to turn base, and then 4 Sierra Papa is instructed to continue following them. Right afterwards, November 480 Sierra Papa is cleared for takeoff, making right traffic, and they will be staying in the pattern as well. While the Cirrus is on about a mile and a half final, the tire controller puts 96 Echo in lineup and wait. It's kind of close because the Cirrus is probably doing 100 knots, so they're traveling somewhere between a mile and a half to 2 miles a minute. So for it to work, 96 Echo would really need to be rolling within about 30 seconds to have that required 3,000 foot runway separation between them and the Cirrus. We then hear Zero Yankee Zulu stating that he has a trim problem and then declares an emergency, but he has a stuck mic, so the controller couldn't really understand what the problem was. Furthermore, Zero Yankee Zulu did not use his call sign during any of those transmissions, and that may have added to the confusion because the controller had several aircraft on frequency. 96 Echo is then cleared for takeoff, but I think the stuck mic prevented the controller from clearing them sooner, so now she's not going to have the required runway separation. Thus, the controller instructs Zero Yankee Zulu to go around, not knowing that they declared an emergency, and tells them to offset to the right side of the runway. This is when we hear some type of struggle in the cockpit, and Zero Yankee Zulu stating that he can't, and he has to land. So at this point, there hasn't been any official reports to explain what exactly happened. So it's unclear if whether or not the Cirrus continued to the runway and tried to land but lost control, or if he noticed 96 Echo and went around to the right side to avoid a collision. But nonetheless, reports indicate that the aircraft crashed to the northwest side of the airport in this area. Let's check out the local news coverage. Pilot is dead after authorities say he crashed a private plane while landing today at Montgomery Field in Kearney Mesa. NBC7's Kelvin Henry joins us with the latest on the investigation and who the plane is registered to. Now this is a tragic scene as the remnants of the crash remains here at Montgomery Field hours later and now we learn that the pilot who was transported to Sharp Hospital in critical condition has now died. This Cirrus SR-20 is damaged after it crashed on Saturday at Montgomery Field. About noon today, San Diego Fire Rescue was notified by the tower here of a small plane down in the northwestern corner of the uh, field. The aircraft was in the air for less than an hour. According to Flight Radar 24, the Cirrus SR-20 took off from Montgomery Field at 11.33 on Saturday morning. San Diego Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief John Fisher says first responders sprung into action shortly after the crash. The patient was trapped in the airplane. The units quickly extricated the patient and he was transported to Sharp Hospital. According to aircraft records, the airplane is registered to Exxon Aviation in Irvine, California. Now, according to first responders, they had to respond both with county and city officials because of the severe wreckage. There is fuel down on the ground and that's why you can see a response uh, from both city and county hazmat behind me. We did respond with about 35 firefighters. Standard response uh, to, a, to an incident uh, with an aircraft down because we don't know what we're going to find until we get there. There was not a fire or explosion on impact and the plane rests in an uninhabited dirt area. The crash is now under investigation by the FAA, but for now, reporting at Kearney Mesa, Kelvin Henry, NBC7. It's hard to say definitively if whether or not 96 Echo's presence contributed to the accident because we're not sure if the Cirrus pilot was trying to avoid them or not. The preliminary report should be coming out soon. Hopefully that clarifies a few things. But if you're a pilot, share your thoughts down below in the comments and please explain as to what may have caused the trim to activate on its own and how serious that is. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. And as always, peace.